Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. As you've probably figured out by now, we are in Zion National Park in southern Utah, established January 31st, 1909. Now we left the Grand Canyon yesterday and we drove up this way. We stayed at a motel just not too far from here for the night so we can get cleaned up, enjoy some rest, and then uh, we're going to continue our trip on from there. But uh, unfortunately, we've had to have a change of plans. Sadly, Ben, early this morning, found out that a very dear friend of his had died. So we uh, quickly decided we're going to uh, change our plans here. Uh, he got himself a flight out of Las Vegas tomorrow morning. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to tour around the park. Uh, we initially had planned on doing a backcountry camp. But in order for us to drive out to the backcountry area, then hike in, and then get back and then get him to the airport in time for his flight tomorrow morning it just isn't going to be feasible so we checked out some local campgrounds in the area uh, they are all they are all full so we decided we're, we're going to do is we're just going to spend the day do some uh, short hikes then drive out uh, there's some BLM land around the area you may try to find a place to camp out of there if not we're just going to find a cheap motel uh, most importantly, we just want to make sure we get him to the airport so he can get to his friend's funeral. Uh, our hearts go out to Ben and his uh, friend's family. You're in our thoughts and prayers. Uh, understandably, this is uh, something that we didn't plan on, but you know, we're going to work with it and make sure that we get uh, him taken care of. So right now, we're at the visitor center. We're going to wait for the shuttle, get on the bus, and then it takes us up, and we got a couple hikes we're going to do, and we'll just take it from there.
All right, I had stopped. I was taking some videos of the waterfalls. Beautiful pictures there. And when I turned around, everybody was gone. I don't know where they went. So I continued down the trail. And then it split off. Right or the left? Well, the right was only 0.8 miles to the end. I thought, well, take that one. That way if I have to turn around and double back, it's less distance than I need to go. But I'm sure I'll find them one way or another. But in the meanwhile, I've got, got a beautiful trail here. Weather is spectacular. I don't think I could ask for a better day. In fact, through the whole trip here, the weather has just been incredible. So, do a little lost and found here, a little search and recovery, and try to catch these guys somewhere along the line here. All right, well that didn't work out too well. I had a 50-50 choice there, A or B, and I took A. Followed the trail all the way back down to where we pick up the bus shuttle, which I thought was the original plan, but who knows? And uh, nobody was there. So I'm gonna work my way on back and I'll uh, go up B a little ways, see if I can find them. Hopefully maybe they doubled back, and if not, eh, worst case scenario, I'll just uh, take the shuttle on back down to the car and wait for them. Eventually they gotta go back. So, got a, about another, uh, maybe a quarter mile or so to get back to where we started and we'll see what happens from there. Cool little pass here called the Grotto. Now this is back to where I had the trail go off to A or B. So come back through here, take B, and I don't find them. Then I'm just going to go back and catch the bus back to uh, the visitor center and hang out there and wait for them. Right, I'm back down to where I last saw them and come up this trail here up at the top of the steps here is where it cuts off so I don't see them down there and here is where I went straight This way is trail B, so let me venture off up here, see if I find them. If not, well, I'll just enjoy the day. Well, look who I found. Oh boy, there we go. Please. Where'd you go to the grotto first? Yeah. Ah. You, you guys disappeared. I don't know. You trail went to the right or the left. Yeah. We were waiting Had a 50 there for 50 you for a while. We, we waited for you for a good while. Yeah. Couldn't have been that long. I wasn't too far behind I, you. I decided to double back to find you, and you weren't there. All right. A little slight miscommunications there, but uh, all's good. They're going to continue on down back uh, through the grotto where I came through. They said there's a pole up here that's kind of worth the check. So I'm going to take a quick run up here. See what that's all about then to turn around and I'll catch up to them. Now that we all know where each other's heading. So this is the pool they told me was worth the hike up here to see. I guess it's okay. All right, well, a little side adventure to break up the monotony. Actually, just goofing around. Yeah, they're just neat. Need a little pull up there. Actually, I enjoyed the cavern walls a little bit better. But I'm gonna head on 
meet on up with them now. Watch where I'm going down these rock, these rocks. And then we'll catch up. And then I think we're gonna catch the shuttle. Probably going up do another hike. There's a strange sense of deja vu, like I've been through here once before, or maybe twice. Oh, I'm getting a good hike in today. I said earlier that it would be about a three mile hike. I think I've already exceeded that. It's okay. I could use the exercise. Now it would appear that the trail from here is up through the stream and up along and into the stream the whole way up. I only got my trail running shoes and I don't want to ruin those because I'm going to need them. So I think uh, our trek ends here. I don't know if any of the boys are going to continue on up. But, uh, we're just going to hit, sit here, spell. I think they already ate so I'm going to see if there's any leftovers. I'll just kind of enjoy the views from here. Bed and brave the waters. I think we decided no more hikes. Yeah. Uh, Was it worth it? Yeah. Oh yeah. I saw someone repel down the side. Oh, did you? <laughs> that video already looks crazy. The rest of us decide to stay part of the Dry Foot Club. Did you get any cool pictures? Yeah. I think the video is going to So when we were walking up here, we saw everybody with these green and orange shoes. Thought they were part of some hiking club. Turns out for 25 bucks you can rent those shoes and a trekking pole. That way you can go ahead and walk up the stream and through the stream and not ruin your own shoes. 
But uh, we're gonna have to walk all the way back and not sure if it was gonna be worth it. So we just kind of hung out there for a little bit. I had a little something to eat, enjoyed the views. Ben walked up, he didn't care. But uh, came back, he got some nice pictures. We're gonna check those out. So from here, I think all we're gonna do is maybe drive around, just check out some more of the sites. Getting a little bit late, we wanna uh, check into a BLM campground somewhere and uh, set up camp. And then uh, Don and Ben are gonna head out early in the morning so he can drop them off at the airport. So with that, thanks for watching everybody. We're gonna kind of cut it here. Just have you watch some uh, videos and pictures of Zion. Enjoy the show.